So these are thousands of people who have come to seek refuge and protection at one of the UN bases in Juba. Uh, there are a lot of men here, as you can see, uh, but many women and children as well. So as you can see, people have been camping out. They've brought their own mattresses. Many of them will have brought food. And what we've been doing is making sure they have access to water. We've cordoned off certain areas so that they uh, uh, can take care of their sanitary needs. And um, we're quite lucky in a way because this is the coolest time of the year. So during the day, it's not blisteringly hot. On the other hand, at night, uh, it is a little too cold to be sleeping out in the open. So it's not an easy situation, but as things calm in Juba, and hopefully increasingly today, uh, I imagine that people will be making assessments about the situation and going home, at least during the day, and um, perhaps coming back at night if they feel unsafe, and of course uh, we're here to, to afford anyone who needs it protection. So if men and women, children, boys and girls, they want to come here, they are welcome. The very eyes of the, of the UN, it shows that uh, now we, we need water, we need food, and uh, we need a full for uh, medication. What we really need you to help with is to try and keep your brothers calm. Try and keep the women and the children as calm as you can. You know, you have a very special leadership responsibility right now. You're men, you're leaders. Exert all the influence that you have within the community, no matter how young or old you are, to keep things calm. My opinion, I do think that today things are much calmer than they were yesterday. But try to make contact with people who are in your neighborhood, who are there. What we've seen here over the past couple of days in Juba is uh, an intense political struggle within the ruling party. It's generated violence, it's generated, of course, consequences for civilians, 20,000 of whom have now sought shelter and protection in one of the two UN bases that we have in town. I've just walked through one of these bases. I've listened to women and children, to a lot of men who are concerned about their own safety, and that's why they've come to the United Nations. And what we as a peacekeeping mission, what we as a UN team can do for people is first and foremost, help them with their protection, help them to be able to seek refuge in a safe place. Um, and in addition to that, we, we will be providing water. We're helping them uh, uh, with, with some other requirements. <laughs>